we revolutionary anarchists focus on the working class, and not be, and we start by saying by working class, the class includes not just the employed workers at any one moment, it includes the unemployed, it includes those dependent on the employed, uh, such as full-time uh, homemakers and housewives and their children, it includes retired workers, all these are part of the working class, class as a class, much broader category than just those employed at the moment. Uh, now, it's not that the workers are necessarily nicer than anybody else. Less than, there are plenty of mean workers. That's not the issue. Uh, it's not that the workers are morally more oppressed than anybody else. I don't want to get, get into those kind of discussions. Uh, as uh, workers, you know, are deaf people more discriminated against than uh, Jews? It's a, an absurd you know, discussion. It's that, as a on a strategic basis, the working class has a certain, number one, includes the big majority of the population. If we include everybody who works by hand or brain and is paid a salary and doesn't have a subordinates under him or her. Uh, and secondly, the working class has a strategic power and the ability to, uh, to stop things. To, if, if you've been in any city where there's been a big strike, you know what that means. When they, you know, the city could just grind to a halt, and at the same time to start things up again. There's no other section of society, however oppressed, that has that that power as as such. Now, the working class overlaps with all the other oppressed sectors of society, and in principle, I'm absolutely in favor of supporting every struggle of freedom. I mean, a small group may have to make priorities, but we're for we're against every form of oppression, and we should be against every form of oppression. And some of these have key, key roles, oppression of women, oppression of, of uh, people of color, uh, all types of oppression of nationalities oppressed by imperialism. Uh, it's precisely where there's an overlap and our interaction between different types of oppression, let's say uh, workers of color, black workers, young workers, uh, women workers, that you have a particularly potential for enormous courage and struggle to lead in really changing all of society, and, and that's what uh, we class struggle anarchists look towards.